Are you preparing for exams like ZEE, NEET, JAM or even SETNE? You will definitely get questions on aromaticity. If you want to answer questions like questions shown here, watch this video. I am going to show you by taking examples how to find out whether compound is aromatic, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. Hello friends, I am Dr. Parna Kulkarni and I promise you that till the end of this video, you will able to answer all such questions. Before we start solving problems, we first must know what are the conditions for compound to be aromatic. So let us check the criteria. Take your writing material and uh, watch the video. So first condition is that compound must be cyclic. Means uh, carbon should form a ring. The second condition compound must be planar. Means all carbons must be in one plane. The third important condition is that compound must be conjugated means it should contain alternate single and double bonds. The same condition we can say like all carbons must be sp2 hybridized. Note that whenever doubly bonded carbon is there it will be sp2 hybridized. Now if a compound uh, satisfies first three conditions then we need to check number of pi electrons present in it. So, uh, compound will be aromatic only if it contains 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Uh, this is in fact a uh, Huckel rule uh, which states like any cyclic planar conjugated system containing 4n plus 2 pi electron is aromatic. Now, let's check when to call particular compound as anti-aromatic. Remember friends, for any compound to be aromatic or anti-aromatic, it should satisfy first three conditions. Uh, means it should be cyclic, it should be planar and it should be conjugated. Now, if such cyclic planar conjugated compound contains 4n pi electrons, we will call the compound as anti-aromatic. Uh, you will say how to know whether uh, the pi electrons in uh, compound are 4n plus 2 or 4n. So what we will do is we will prepare number series for 4n plus 2 and 4n. Uh, we will take n as any integer like 0, 1, 2. Uh, so let us first take n is equal to uh, n is equal to 0 and we will put it in 4n plus 2 then we will get number as 2. Uh, similarly, if we put n is equal to uh, 1, uh, we will get uh, number as 6. Uh, we, we may continue like this. Uh, the next number will be uh, 10 and so on. Uh, we can put a number in 4n series. So, n is equal to 1 will give 4, n is equal to 2 will give 8 and so on. So, um, the number series for uh, 4n plus 2 is 2, 6, 10, 14 and so on. Uh, number series for 4n is 4, 8, 12 and so on. This means that any cyclic planar conjugated system containing either 2 or 6 or 10 electrons is uh, pi electrons is aromatic and if it contains uh, 4, 8 uh, or 12 pi electrons it will be anti-aromatic. Uh, friends, I will tell you one more simple trick. Remember this, if compound contains uh, odd number of double bonds then uh, and it is of course cyclic planar conjugated then it will be aromatic. And if uh, such compound contains even number of double bonds, it will be anti-aromatic. Now we know that uh, for compound to be either aromatic or anti-aromatic, 
it must satisfy first three conditions that is cyclic planar and conjugated now when to call compound as uh, non aromatic uh, if compound uh, breaks any of the first three condition then it will be called as non aromatic means suppose is if compound is not cyclic uh, or uh, compound is uh, not planar means all carbons are not in one plane or uh, compound is not conjugated means if it contains uh, sp3 carbon atoms in between then uh, the compound we call that compound as non aromatic so remember this if compound breaks any of the first three conditions then compound will be called as non aromatic uh, now with this knowledge we will check for different compounds whether they are aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic let us first consider uh, benzene naphthalene and anthracene uh, all these three compounds are cyclic they are planar and they are conjugated means they satisfy first three conditions so now we have to check number of pi electrons in it so in benzene uh, there are three uh, double bonds means uh, six pi electrons in naphthalene there are five double bonds means 10 pi electrons and in anthracene there are seven double bond means uh, it contains 14 pi electrons uh so uh, we have already uh, calculated uh, pi electrons for 4n plus 2 series and we know that uh, uh, 6 10 and 14 pi electrons comes under 4n plus 2 series so we can say that benzene naphthalene and anthracene satisfies all the conditions for aromaticity that is they are cyclic planar conjugated and contains 4n plus 2 pi electrons so all these compounds are aromatic now uh, you solve uh, for phenanthrene i have shown you structure here so you just check whether phenanthrene is aromatic anti aromatic or non aromatic uh, now let's take example of uh, cyclobutadiene uh, cyclobutadiene Uh, as shown in structure it is cyclic planar and conjugated uh, it contains two uh, two double bond means it contains uh, four pi electrons uh, four is a number which comes in four in uh, series so we can say that uh, cyclobutadiene is anti aromatic now let's check for cyclooctatetraene i have shown you the structure so if we look at cyclooctatetraene we uh, may think that uh, the compound is uh, cyclic it is uh, conjugated it contains uh, four uh, double bond means eight pi electron and you may think that it is anti aromatic as it satisfies all the three conditions and then it contains four n pi electron but in fact the molecule is not planar it is uh, tub shaped so uh, since uh, cyclooctatetraene breaks uh, the uh, condition of plan planarity it is not uh, it is not anti aromatic or aromatic but it is non aromatic since it is not planar so let us check for these two compounds uh, first consider 1,3-butadiene uh, as 1,3 uh, butadiene uh, you can see it is not cyclic so the compound breaks uh, one of the first three condition uh, whereas in cyclohexadiene the second molecule uh, conjugation is not complete uh, there are uh, two uh, carbons which are uh, in sp3 hybridization state so um, both these compounds uh, since they break uh, one of the first three condition uh, these compounds are non aromatic we have solved simple examples on aromaticity 
But what about compounds, ions and heterocyclic compounds shown here? Don't worry. In next video, we will solve all these examples. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for notification. I will come up with next video on aromaticity.